Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can add custom fields to billing and shipping addresses on your WooCommerce websites. So here you can see we have added custom A and custom B to the billing address. Likewise, we have also added custom A and custom B to the shipping address. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So let's first go to our demo website. This is our demo site, and we have added a test product. Let me add it to cart. View cart. And proceeds to checkout. So these are the default billing details and the default shipping address. So let's add custom fields here. In order to do that, let's log in to the dashboard wp-admin. Enter the credentials. So we are in the dashboard. To add custom fields on WooCommerce, we need some codes. Go to Appearance and Theme File Editor and go to the Themes functions. Scroll down and we will be adding some code here. So here is the code we are going to add. Let me briefly explain this code too. Don't worry about this long code, I will quickly explain. This will add fields to the billing address. Here is a field custom up. We are adding a label custom up and placeholder custom up. So this is for one field and this is for another field. This is custom B, custom B label and placeholder. If you want only one field, you can delete this or if you want more, copy this and paste it and change the names respectively. I will delete this for now. So this code will add fields to billing address. And if this required is set to true, means it is mandatory to be filled. If it is false, then the field will be optional. So this is for billing address. Likewise, this code is for the shipping address. It is exactly like the billing address with fields custom A and custom B. So it follows the same pattern. You can of course replace these names with yours. So you can remove this field if you want one shipping field or add if you want more fields. And it is the same for this required true or false. So since this field must be filed, we need to validate it. This code is for the billing field custom A. And this is for custom B. Make sure you use the same name when you customize the code. If this field is empty, the user will see this message. You can also write your own message here. Likewise, on shipping, we are doing exactly the same. Always make sure that these field names are correct with validation. And here too, you can change this message to anything you want. Now the final code, we need to save it to order data. Make sure this name is correct for custom up and for custom B. And the same for shipping addresses custom A and custom B. So if you want to add more fields, make sure to copy this validation accordingly for billing or shipping addresses. Please make sure you change the name correctly all over the codes and do the same for this field too. Anyway, so we have explained it all. This code will add fields custom A and custom B. Copy the code and paste it into theme functions.
and update the file. By the way, you can create your own plugin and at this code, we have a tutorial on creating a plugin too. Anyway, this is done. Let me reopen this checkout page on another page. As you can see, we have added custom label up and custom label B. Likewise, we also added it to the shipping address. You can add as many fields as you want. Let me click on place order. So this error message will be displayed. This is the error message which you can customize and use anything you want. Anyway, so this is how you can add custom fields to billing and shipping addresses on WooCommerce. Thank you very much.